Hi, this is Dr. A.V.S. Suresh from Continental Hospitals. Today we are going to learn about thalassemia. So what do you mean by thalassemia? Whenever there is a lack of hemoglobin, you call it as anemia. That means hemoglobin is less. So why there should be less hemoglobin? Multiple reasons. Hemoglobin is nothing but heme, which is having a porphyrin and iron, and four protein called globins. 2 alpha and 2 beta globins. Whenever there is abnormality in the production of these globins, you call them as a hemoglobinopathy. That means abnormal hemoglobin. If the quantity of beta goes down, you call them as a beta thalassemia. If quantity of alpha goes down, you call alpha thalassemia. And if beta chain or alpha chain are abnormally shaped, you have different forms called sickle cell disease, hemoglobin E, D, Lepore and a lot of things. So what happens ultimately? There is a lack of hemoglobin. People feel weak. They can't walk. They can't do their daily activities. Body tries to produce more and more hemoglobin. So you have liver and spleen taking over the job of bone marrow. So you have enlargement of them. The bone marrow appears boxed. So the hemoglobin is weak, so you have a hemolysis happening, that means the blood cells break down. So this always leads to overall sickness of the patient. We try to pump a lot of blood to maintain the hemoglobin. The problem is, the extra blood that you give lead behind some iron into the body. So iron gets accumulated, it causes a lot of problems. This thalassemia can be very mild or it can be very severe. If it is severe, accepting for the bone marrow transplantation, unfortunately we can't treat any of these patients. There are gene testings to understand about this thalassemia. If both the parents are traits, then the possibility of thalassemia child is there. So please get your hemoglobin A2 levels checked prior to the marriage. It runs in the family, 100% hereditary, so ensure you screen for this disease before the birth of the child. If you have suspicion, then please consult a hematologist for further details and management. If you screen, you prevent the next generation of thalassemia. Thank you.